Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we linked with the January transfer move to Arsenal. Got a special guest, DT, on the show today, and also we're going to be doing it from inside a Bentley. Um, the reason why we're doing that is that we're actually doing a video in association with Auto Trader. We're filming it at the moment. It's going to be out in a couple of weeks' time, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. But um, come, let's go in the warmth. So we're inside now, inside the car. You, you like this, isn't it? It's all this, right, is, this is um... one of your many. <laughs> I wish I owned this. This is a beautiful car. Um, uh, as I said, we're going to be doing a video for uh, the guys at Auto Trader. Um, big up Rory, and uh, you'll see that video come out. A um, couple of challenges in there. It's, it's <laughs> very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, very. But listen, it's all about the uh, transfer rumors. First of all, let me apologise. I didn't manage to get a video out yesterday for transfer wow. daily i cannot tell you how frustrating it was for me yesterday um i just had a like a couple of windows in which to um do it ironically a couple of windows and i just could not get any reception to get the video out so apologies for that but we are back today and i'm um, going to get straight into the rumors now first of all dt i want to ask you about this one um and it's about pierre emerick Aubameyang again mm. Uh, lots of uh, speculation around today that Aubameyang um, could leave and he's been linked with a move to Barcelona. Now, of course, Barcelona, uh, they're missing Luis Suarez at the moment. Luis Suarez uh, got a bad knee injury. Um, yeah. He's going to be out for about four months. They're looking for a striker and obviously Aubameyang, 18 months left on his contract. Um, they're said to be really interested in him. They're interested in a couple of strikers, to be fair. Mm. But links coming out of um, Spain saying that they want they want Aubameyang and that Aubameyang will be willing to come. Now, this is, remember, coming out of Spain. We remember that Aubameyang, you know, just a couple of weeks ago, said to everybody, listen, I'm the captain of Arsenal. I'm happy here. I'm not going anywhere. But he did say on the end of that, for now, but yeah. what do you think of these rumours? Do you think it's rubbish? It's got to take it with a pinch of salt at the moment, paper talk, mm. in my opinion. Um, Aubameyang's said plenty to make it clear that he wants yeah. to stay here at the moment. So why should we not believe him? Mm. Um, remember, the reports are coming out of Spain as well. Um, yep. Maybe we it's an unsettling tactic. Um, we know a lot of these um sometimes these publications as well work yeah. very closely with these clubs. Yeah. And it's a very well known tactic of some of these um mm -hmm. you know Spanish teams to try and destabilize players we know by putting these well. rumors out there. We know all too well about Barcelona and their destabilizing tactics. Mm. We know about shirts tried to be put on Cesc Fabregas for example mm. and all that kind of rubbish and the worrying thing is they got Cesc Fabregas though in the end yeah well I think the situation's a mm. little bit different as well he was a local yeah. boy and I think he was always going to go there eventually we always knew that um, there's talk about a loan deal I suggest they stop smoking um, <laughs> if they think they're going to get him on a loan deal mm. um, some people have said <clears throat> give us 100 million he's got 18 months left on his contract give us 100 million Mm. If you're going to pay that kind of money for someone who can score the goals that Aubameyang does, then that's the going rate. Mm. So, the thing is about it, right? It's just so difficult to get a goal scorer, right? And yeah. that is what he is. He's yeah. going to guarantee you goals. So, mm -hmm. I'm just hoping for dear life that Arsenal hold on to him. I mean, I know Martinelli stepped in and he's done brilliantly, but he's still only 18. Mm -hmm. We've got ourselves a world class player in Aubameyang. We don't want to lose him. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how this one develops out. Yeah. Aubameyang has said he's not leaving. That's what he said. Um, but these rumours persist today and could Arsenal be tempted? That's the other thing to say to themselves, well, you know, 18 months left, we ain't agreed a new deal yet. Barcelona offer like a 70 million, say, we'll go and... But, but the risk of that is replacing him. Mm. You see even players like Timo Werner and people like that who don't have the goal-scoring records of and a Bamiang, you know what I mean? The figures being quoted for players like that is more than that. So, yeah. I know they're younger, but... Mm, mm. That's the only problem. Yeah. The other thing is, uh, rumour today, um, well, it's about Martinelli. Gabriel Martinelli he was brilliant the other night at Chelsea. We were just talking about it earlier, how great his performance was. 
how the place was buzzing and all the fans are really buzzing about this kid. Remember, we saw him in pre-season mm -hmm. and both of us were like, hey, this guy looks good. 18 mm -hmm. years old, mm -hmm. you know. Now, there's a lot of rumours coming out today that, again, Barcelona and Real Madrid are starting to take a very close look at him, mm -hmm. right? He's apparently on about £10,000 a week wages, which for... You know, a player like him, his caliber is, you know, it's not yeah. a lot. And uh, Arsenal is said to be looking at tripling his wages yeah. and giving him a new deal already. I mean, what do you think yeah. of that? Well, we have to give him a new deal, you know, and there has to be something put within that contract so that it protects us. Other clubs do it. Why don't we? So you mean like a, a release clause? Yeah, like you see clubs put ridiculous release clauses in their contracts of players, mm. you know, to fend people off. Why don't you do the same? You know, actually tie him down to a proper contract, mm. long contract, minimum five years extension or something like that. So that clubs that are trying to get him know that they're going to have to mm. pay the serious going rate. Yeah. And you're talking in excess of 100 million where he's going to get to and where he's going to, you mm. know, eventually be if he carries on the way that he's carrying on. So, yeah, we need to make sure that we don't end in end up in those situations that we have been ending up in, which is where mm. we lose players for next to nothing. And 18 years old, he's got his whole future ahead of him. And he's so exciting. Yeah. Got to keep hold of him. Um, what have you made of the situation with Danny Ceballos? Because again now, mm. that is another one of the rumours that are flying around today, that Danny Ceballos wants to cut his loan move at Arsenal short, Mm -hmm. and return back to Real Madrid or go somewhere where he's going to play. Yeah. Um, he didn't play again the other night. Um, he was on the bench, all right. It could have been circumstances, obviously, um, with the sending off and that. But he's not figured. He's back now from the hamstring injury, yeah. which he suffered in November. And he's desperate to play. He wants to try and get himself into the Spain squad for the Euros and he's desperate to play and he's worried that he's not getting enough game time under Mikel Arteta. Mm. And apparently... And did you see that post he he put out on Instagram where he said to Bellerin, I'm going to miss your left-footed goals. Again, a lot of people have sort of dug into that and said, you're going to miss them. So that means you're off. Mm -hmm. should, we be cutting, should we be cutting it short? Or do, do, I mean, what do you make of that? It hasn't really worked out, has it? Mm. Um, you remember the second game of the season when we played Burnley and we thought, wow, OK, yeah, this is good. Um, we've got ourselves a player here. Mm. And then it just hasn't really kicked on from that moment. Mm. It's just kind of stalled and then the injury. And he's been back for a while now, but he's not featured at all. Even in the yeah. FA Cup game where you kind of would look at players yeah. like a Sobias that's coming back from injury as the perfect chance to get minutes under your belt. Mikel why has it, well, it you figured? This is, well, this is the thing. Mikel Arteta sees him every day in training. So does he not like what he sees? Is he not the style of player that Mikel Arteta wants? Mikel Arteta is going to have a style of player um, that's going to suit our game. We've been mm. too reliant on players trying to play a style that they can't play. So maybe Arteta's like, mm. he doesn't fit the mould. We can cut our losses without it costing us anything. It's not like he's a player that we have to get rid of and someone has mm. to buy. Let's get rid of him and let's go and get something that fits what we want. It's surprising though because he 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 seems to be you know, a player that would fit Mikel Arteta's because he's a high energy all action you know what I mean he's got a lot of skill I, I would have thought he would have it's been really surprising for me mm. this one. But, it is but like I said Arteta obviously sees him in training mm. he obviously knows what he wants and and what not and yeah it, it very much does seem like that's the end. Mm, it'd you be know? a shame, man. Um, yeah, he had a great song. Yeah, he did have another song. He had a brilliant song. Now, let me... Uh, I'm going to read this pronunciation off, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for this. This is a centre-back that we've been linked with at Arsenal today, right? And his <laughs> name is uh, Mikola Matvinenko. <laughs> Matt Vinyenko. I did all right. I, mean, it sounded I did all right. He plays Matt for... <laughs> Vinyenko. You <laughs> like broke it down. it down in three parts. <laughs> Matt Vinyenko, um, he's 23. Um, he's a centre back. He plays for Shakhtar the next. Mm -hmm. um, he's rated very highly. A lot of clubs are looking at him. Manchester yeah. City, apparently, one of those clubs that are after him. Arsenal linked with a move for him today. His agent actually saying that Arsenal have been in talks and he hopes to get it done with Arsenal. Mm. Could this be the centre-back that we all thinking 
Mm. I mean, none of us is out of the blue, and I'm sure it's not um, any centre back we were thinking of. But could this be? Could this be the guy? Be the? I don't know if you ever heard of him. You heard anything about this guy? Yeah, I know everything about him. Yeah, what yeah, do you know? Nothing. <laughs> 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 do you know what I mean? Old yeah. Matty, I don't know nothing about him. But I just look at it and I just think um, it's one of those situations where mm. it's a left field one and that's very Arsenal-like. Um, I'd done some checks on him yesterday just mm. to kind of see what he was about. He's yeah. not the biggest of centre-backs. Yeah, he's not, he's not. Um, under six foot, so it's another one of those. I know we're kind of stuck in this kind of... Mm. Virgil van Dijk world at the moment mm. where we all want a six big foot commanding plus powerful yeah. yeah can play with a ball mm. at his feet and I think we're kind of mm. in that mindset where it comes to center backs because he's the best in the world yeah you want to replicate that mm. so um yeah I can't really say much more yeah than I that. have to admit I don't know a lot about him either but um apparently Arsenal according to his agent whether this is his agent trying to talk up the price, which is something that we know is, happens a lot, yeah. or whether it is a genuine link, um, we don't know. But let's keep an eye on that one because uh, we do need a centre back, as we saw yeah. the other night. I mean, um, even though Mustafi did well in the second half, did make a massive error. Even Louise was a bit rash in his challenge. Yeah. Um, so um, let's see what happens with that one. And um, finally, I'm going to ask you about this one, uh, Mr. The the Levin Kazawa one, PSG left back. Mm, yeah. um, Do you know what they, this... they're, they're saying now that that deal could get done mm. for now? I mean, we, there's talk of, uh, his contracts up at the end of the season, but there's talk that if Arsenal were to pay four point two million pounds now, they can have him now in that left back position. Although Saka has been doing brilliant, you know, he's a young lad that's taken that role. And mm. me and you were speaking about Maitland Niles. Um, the fact that he had a, such an issue with playing right back and mm. he wanted to play centre midfield and didn't mm. look like he was really bothered because that ain't his position. And you were like, you've got a chance to play for Arsenal Football Club mm. to cement yourself a position. Saka seems to have done the opposite where he's gone, OK, I'm a left winger. I don't really like playing left back. Never played there before, really. But you know what? I'm playing for Arsenal Football Club. I've got an mm. opportunity to play first team football. I'm in the Premier League and mm. I'm going to try and grab this opportunity with both hands. And every time he's been asked to do that, you know, role, he's grabbed it with both hands. Mm. The Chelsea game, I think that was one of his toughest tests because yeah. they put Hudson Odoi out on Adoy, that side. Willian, they were switching uh, on him. You know, so it was they obviously looked at that side as being a weak point mm. and saying attack their left hand side because it's an inexperienced kid that's mm. not a left back, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I think he's been doing brilliant. He has so, been. So for you, know, you you're not. I'm not really You're not fussed about because, this leaving well, Kazawa. Well, the, the thing is, as well, or is would that, you just say wait until get him well, for yeah, a free I'll, at the end of the season? Well, listen, I think Tierney's absolutely perfect once mm. he comes back. His injury is not an injury where it's a reoccurrence, and yeah. you're kind of going, "Oh, that's a bit of a worry." He keeps getting that problem. It's a freak accident. We was mm. there at West Ham. It was just a complete mm. accident. Yeah. Plus, you've got Kalasinac to come back in there as well, and, and you've got well. Saka. So Kalasinac looked like a player yeah. that we bought initially. I must have. Fit, I find it a bit baffling this left back because we got players who can play in there. Listen, obviously Arteta is going to be looking forward to the future to bring in the wing backs that he really wants. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know. I just. This guy hasn't had a great time of it at um, PSG. Mm. I don't know. It's not doesn't seem like a priority for me. But no, um, I, I I I don't think it's going to happen now. I think if it does happen, it will be um, in the summer. But there's talk that it could happen now if we pay four point two million. Me, I'd be prioritising on what we need right now, which is a yeah. centre back. Um, but listen, um, thank you very much for being part of it. As I said, um, no worries, look out for the video that's going to come out. Um, that video is going to come out where we're doing some challenges um, for the guys at Auto Trader. Um, some great stuff. This is a beautiful car. We're going to try and see if we can sneak this car out. We're on a racetrack at the moment. See, what do you reckon? Try and see if we can sneak the car out. Don Robbie, <laughs> it's too much security at the top there. But listen, we will be back tomorrow with more transfer rumours. And don't forget, deadline day next week. That's it. That's when the window closes. So um, not long to get business done.